Moving on to the fence post assembly, we're going to start by cutting our fence post in half. If you have a 72 inch fence post, just measure out 36 inches. If you have a cutoff saw, you can use a, that saw to cut it in half. If you don't, you can just use a regular hack saw to cut it in half. You can just start by marking a three inch mark from the end of the fence post. And go ahead and center that. If it's a four inch fence post, just mark a two inch mark. You'll notice that the holes are spaced 13 and a half inches apart. Use your two inch hole saw to drill the holes. Use your hacksaw and cut about a half inch to three quarter inch slit on the drain end of the fence post. You don't want to get a heat gun or a hair dryer and heat up the end. Then use a pair of pliers once it's nice and warm to just go ahead and bend that flap down. After it cools it'll stay in place. The next step is to mix up some epoxy and apply a really nice bead to the inside of the end cap make sure you get it around really really well apply the end cap to the fence post and clean everything up the last step is to cut the drain end caps you can cut it out with a hacksaw or a one-inch hole saw and then just clean it up using a drum sander. <laughs> 